Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, I know Adam well, and we used to be neighbors actually. Um, and um, you know, the, the service that they provide is, is different than what Environment Canada can provide. They, they actually you know, will watch the radar 24 hours a day and have people just staring at it, looking for any kind of rotation. And you know, so, so they'll get the jump on things sometimes that uh, Environment Canada may not be able to, but it's, you know, it's, it's very focused on that. And uh, the, the benefit for us uh, with NTP is that it has, you know, some, it has I think 200,000 plus um, members. And all of those people that are following those storms also start providing reports about what they've seen and any damage and that kind of thing. And, uh, and Adam has been great about sharing those with us at NTP. And you know, it makes up a large portion of, of those incoming social media messages that tell us where to look for storms. So again, you know, with NTP, we, we really look at this as a community endeavor. And there's a lot of different groups out there, including, including Adam's group, and, and I, his, uh, it's now called an Instant Weather, um, that contribute. And, and we need all these people in order to be able to get a, a real handle on what's going on across the entire country. And, uh, and we, can all, we can all work towards the same goal of, of improving uh, prediction, improving our knowledge of uh of where things happen and and you know recording them and, and documenting them